I hope. All right, so I am going to go ahead and mute you guys. Um, we are, this is our pyramid class. Hopefully all of you guys have um, taken the class before. Uh, my name is Danielle. I am one of the trainers out at Avila Bay Club and I'm so glad that you can join me this morning. Um, yeah, it's Thursday, so let's just get right into that pyramid and let's get it going. So, all right, um, we have uh, our 30 second warm up. So we do 30 seconds, five exercises, we repeat it once and then we go right into the pyramid. You will need a set of uh, weights today and your mat and hopefully some water nearby. Um, and remember, always hydrate and get water as you need it. I typically won't just say like get water, um, but when we have those rest times, get water. Um, just, you know, take care of yourself, of course. All right, here we go. We're going 30 seconds in our first one. Set my timer up there. All right, here we go. So. We are going to start with a squat. So you're going to squat and reach those arms out and then drive back up. Wait, let me make sure. There we go. Squat and reach. So with that reach, just think about keeping the chest nice and tall, reaching out away from me, driving up through the ground. So I want you to really push through the ground as you come up and out of that squat. Drive those feet in and up. Good. Push down, reach out. Push down, reach, good. We're gonna go into our hinge. So hands come down the legs. Round the back up once, flatten back out, and then drive back to standing. So I'm gonna flatten all the way down. I'm gonna round up, flatten out, drive back up. Push the hips way back behind you. A little cat cow type of movement here, as well as that hinge. So push back, round. Flatten and drive. Good. Let's go side to side lunges. So reach towards that toe or reach towards the knee. So opposite hand reaching in towards that toe. So a little bit of a rotation through the top of your torso. You can even open the other arm if you wanted to to get a little bit of a deeper reach if you wanted. So reaching side to side in that lunge, sitting back. We're gonna go right into our jump rope. We do it every week. Here it is. That's our jump rope. Good. So light on the toes. Even if you're here marching, good option. Quick little marches, but make sure you are swinging your rope. All right, we've got 10 seconds. Good. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. So you're gonna come down into your squat together. Out together. So it's kind of a jack squat, but we're kind of going a little slower. So loading the legs, come in. If you are not jumping, drive in. Squat, drive in. All right, so that is your option without that jump. Nice and low, up together. Down, up together. Good. Here we go right into that squat again. So squat and reach. You just did a few, so it should be a little easier. Think about it a little quicker this round. We're now into that second round of our warm up. So maybe just a little quicker. Reach, drive, reach, and up. Good. Those of you who are just joining me, make sure you have weights and a mat. We're in our second round of our warm up. We're going into that hinge, round back, hinge, and go. So flat back, round up, flatten it out, drive back to standing. Hips go way back, round, open up the spine, engage the shoulder blades, come back to standing. Good, you guys, we got 10 seconds. This one should feel really good. Good, five seconds. Flat, round, flat, and up. Let's go side lunge, reach to the toe. Reach to the toe. Sit way back, so sit your hips back behind you as you reach to that toe. Opposite, good, so reaching opposite toe with that hand. Good, we have our jump rope. Up next, eight seconds. 
side to side. Good. Here we go. Three, two, and jump rope. Here's your first option. Your second option. All right, marching, swinging your rope. I want you to grab onto your rope right now as if you really have one. I want you to swing, swing, swing. Go. Good. Remember, we're a little quicker this time around. Eight seconds. We're going into that squat jack. That's a little quicker too. Three, two, and go. So squat together. Squat together. So load the legs. Make a quick transition here at the top, even if you're here. Drive. Good. All right, so without that jump, bringing that leg in to meet the other one. Low the leg, up, down slow, quick at the middle. Light on those feet, landing in the squat. We have three seconds, two seconds, and one. Good, okay, that's our warm up. We're gonna head right into number one. So with our pyramid, we have seven exercises. You start with number one for 30 seconds, we rest for 30 seconds. Then we add another one plus two, then rest. One plus two plus three, then rest all the way till we get to number seven. Then we work our way back down. So, number one, all right. We are going, I'll show you now, but I'll start our timer. So, you're gonna side squat. Palms are facing each other as I side squat. When I come center, I'm gonna row, high row, up, step to the other side, high row, up, all right? If you have shoulder issues, you're gonna just squat and just a little raise out to the side, squat, a little sideways, okay? So really be aware of those shoulders if you have any issues. All right, number one. Once we start, we don't stop till the end. So here we go. Side squat, high row, ready, set, and go. Okay, here we go. Side squat, up row. Side squat, up. Sitting into your squat. So make sure both knees are bent. All right, it's not a lunge. So that inside leg does not bend or doesn't stay straight. All right, make sure it's a squat and a pull. Squat, pull, good. Five seconds. You already got your first rest coming. There it is. Rest number one. Number two, you're going to squat, set your weights down. Jack, touch, jack, touch, grab them up, down. So here, touch, here, touch, squat and pick up. Okay, so just think up and down, squat, squat, jack, jack. We'll get it together. All right, let's start number one. Here we go. Side squat. High row, good job you guys, squat and row. There's a few different squats and jacks today. I must have just had it on the mind and that's what I needed to do today. I don't know. Here we go, halfway, squat, high pull, squat, high pull, leading out the elbows to the side, weight coming up towards the armpits. Three, two, one, here we go. Set the weights down. Jack together, touch. Jack together, touch. Jack together, pick them up. Drive to the top. Repeat. Jack together. Jack together. Squat, pick them up. So make sure you're squatting each time. Squat, pick them up. Whew, five seconds. Almost there. Them up. Okay, there's your rest. We have chest fly, a press fly while holding a bridge. All right, so on your back, you're going to start elbows in, lift the hips, push straight up, fly open together and down. Your hips will stay bridged the entire time. All right, so an inside press with a fly. Here we go, squat side. Here we go, side squat, high pull, side squat, high pull, down, and up, down, whoo, take your
your time here. Sit into it. Pull those weights to the armpits. Elbows lead out. Nice high chest. Breathing. We have that set down. Two jacks. Ready? So set down. Jack together, touch. Jack together, touch. Jack together, pick it up. Whew. Set it down. If you are knowing the no jump option, you are taking that feet together, touch, together, touch, bring it back up. All right. Just take that jack out. Here we go. Three, two, and one. All right. Add that chest fly. Lift your bridge. Woo. I almost forgot. Up hips. Press and fly. Together, down. Core engaged. Nice and tight. All right. Brace your core. Glutes are squeezed. Good. Elbows squeeze and tight to the body. Open fly. Elbows lead the way. Come back together. Back down. There's your rest. Oh, I almost forgot that one. Okay, number four. Number four. You're going to flip around. You are going up four arms here. You're going to pike up and you're going to tap your knees two times. One pike, two taps. All right. If you're here, you can always pike up, drop your knees, lift, and lift. All right. I'll give you that option when we get there. Ready? Number one. Squat and pull. Squat, pull. Nice job, you guys. Sit, high row. Sit and up. This is number four. We've got three more after this. We've got that weight drop, two jacks, weight pickup. In three, two, one, two. Here we go. Squat. Pick it up. Good. Squat. Good. Two squat jacks. Nice job, you guys. Then pick the weights up. Come back down. Good. You guys are doing awesome. Great job. Nice. So remember, add that little toe tap if you are not jacking. All right. That's a great option. You guys look really good. Here we go. We got our chest fly with bridge. Three, two, one. Here it is. So bridge those hips up, push straight up. Fly open, arms are soft, all right, when you fly. So push straight up, fly open, come back center. Elbows squeeze that rib cage. They're close in that press. We have five seconds left. Flipping over to that forearm plank with that little dolphin pipe and two knee taps. Let's go, flip on over. Here we go. So pike up, press down, tap, tap. You could pike up, press down, both knees down, one knee up, one knee up. Come up, pike down, one knee, one knee. All right, that's a great option. Otherwise, two knees, two knees. You got three seconds. There's your rest. Okay, up you come. We're going deadlift with a row and a fly. So I'm going to deadlift down, row my elbows up, fly my elbows out, come to standing. All right. So one deadlift with a row, reverse fly. So make sure you come up in between the deadlift and the row. Okay. So make sure deadlift, row, fly. Here we go. So squat, high pull. We're at number one. I feel like my words are a little messy today. So forgive me. I'm trying to get all the words in. Breathe and have fun at the same time. You have 10 seconds. Eight seconds. Weight pick up. Two jack touches. Three, two, one. Let's go. Set it down. Up, touch, up. Touch, up, pick it up. Start over. Up, tap, up, tap, up, pick them up. We're halfway. Tap each one, then pick them up. 
Whew. We have our chest fly with our bridge in three, two, one, here we go. on the ground. All right, bridge up, press and fly. So you will see when we get to that deadlift, we're getting the reverse of what we're doing here. All right, we got 10 seconds. Almost there. Keep those core squeezed tight. We're flipping around in three, two, one. All right, forearm, dolphin plank to two knee taps. If you wanted to, you could hold here. Just lift one knee, lift one knee, press back. All right, lift, lift, push back from those knees. All right, choose the option where you feel strongest. That was another option. We have five seconds left. Three, two, one, here we go, up top. Deadlift, row, fly. Deadlift, row elbows up, down, fly open, back to standing. Catch your breath, row, fly, back to standing. Focus on your core here, all right? Keep that core nice and strong. Brace the belly so there's no stress on the back. Three, two, one. Okay, that's five. This is number six. Remember, water when you need it. You're gonna go two jacks, two high knees. Right left is one, okay? So you have to go one, two, three, four. All right, so two jacks, two high knees, low intensity option right there. Okay, grab your weights. We're starting at the beginning. Side squat, high row. Ready? And go. Side squat. Up. This is number six. So that means we only have one more of these today. Up. Good. Woo. Up you go. Nice job. We are adding on that weight pickup with the two jack touches, weight drop off. However you want to call it, three, two, one, here we go. Up, touch, up, touch, up, pick it up. Good. Squat. Make sure you squat each time you jack touch and when you pick it up. All right, adding on chest press with the fly in your bridge. Five seconds. Three seconds, two, and one on your back. Bridge up, press and fly. You've got this. This is your chance, catch your breath. Just a little, right? Press and fly. Core braced. Adding on forearm dolphin with the knee taps. You've got five seconds. Two, and one, good job, flip over. Here we go. Choose the option that works best for you. Two taps, one dolphin pike. Two taps. Pull the belly button up to get those hips high. Pull from your belly. Five seconds, up next, deadlift, row. Fly, ready, go, up you come. Remember, that's half the work, is coming up and down, right? So join me when you get there. Deadlift down, row elbows, fly open, come to standing. All right, belly is braced, brace that core, all right? Core tight, 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 protect the back. Up next. Two jacks, two high knees, no, so two jacks. One, two, one, two, one, two. Low intensity, one, two, one, one. All right, you've got that. Either works, 10 seconds. 
excitement. That's a little thinker, right? Three seconds. Today's a little bit of a thinking project. All right, number seven. We're going to go into our V6. So you're going to be nice and tall, lean back, curl, press, down, release, curl, press, okay? But you're going to be in your V6 here, lean back, feet up or down. That's your choice. All right, starting with number one. Last time, go squat, pull, squat, pull. This is your last round. Good job, you guys. This is the last of it. Keep going. You are doing great. 10 seconds. We add on that weight. Pick up two jack touches. Three, two, one, here we go. Set them down. Together, touch. Together, touch. And up. Take them up. Together, touch. Good, you guys. I think you hopefully have gotten this one by now. If not, make your own little uh, round up here with jacks, touching, picking up. You got three seconds on the ground. Two. One chest fly, bridge combo. Here we go. Hips up, press, fly together, and down, press, fly together, pull in, squeeze the tricep as those arms push to the top of that press. Adding on forearm, dolphin pike, two knee taps. You've got five seconds. Two. One, go, flip over. Right into it. Remember, you're just trying to get there as quickly as you can. One, two jacks. Press high, pull from the core. One, two, pull. 10 seconds. We are up. Deadlift, row fly. Three, two, one, here we go. Woo, up you come. All right, deadlift down, row, fly, drive to the top. I want you to think about your core here. Think about the posture muscles. All right, as you drive up in that row, in that fly, nice and tall, five seconds, two jacks, Two high knees, ready, and go. Two jacks, two high knees, two jacks. 20 seconds. 15. We have our last one to add. V sit with that curl press in eight seconds. Low intensity. All right, three, two, one, eight. Sit on back, curl, press, down, release. So I have my curl coming slightly out to the side, right, instead of directly in front of me. Think about being really tall through your back. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Woo, three, Two, one, that's the top of the pyramid. 30 seconds, we start with number two. All right, so if you haven't gotten a drink of water, get one now, all right? We are starting, weight, set down, two jack touches, pick them up. All right, five seconds left. I'm just gonna leave mine here. And go from there. Ready? And go. So tap, tap, pick them up. Good, you guys. Tap, tap, pick them up. All right. You're going to hear a buzzer. Keep going, all right? Keep going. Don't stop. You got a little bonus right there. So I can restart the timer. But I think that's 
okay for a little bonus on this Thursday. 15 seconds. One, two, chest press fly while you're in the bridge. Up next. We're almost there. Five seconds. This is your last round. Three, two, one. On the ground. Here we go. Bridge up. Press. Fly. Together. You know this one by now. I want you to squeeze tight from your core. Really use your core to hold the hips up. Keep the hips nice and even. 10 seconds, flipping around. Forearms off and pike. Two knee touches. You've got three, two, one, and go. Flip on over. Right in. So one, two, dolphin pike. One, two, take your time. Focus on your form here. Core run, armpit to butt. Think about those muscles between that area. You have five seconds. We're up for deadlift, row, fly. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Deadlift, row, fly, and drive. Remember, if it takes you a few seconds to get up, that's okay. You get seven rounds of each exercise. 10 seconds, two jacks, two high knees, almost there. Three, two, one, and go. Two jacks, two high knees. Oh, I told you, a lot of jacks and squats today. Not sure why. Must have been what my body needed. Maybe what you needed too. 10 seconds. V six curl press. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. On your back. Sit nice and tall. Curl. Press. Down. Release. Make sure your shoulders, head, rib cage, hip are in a line. So as you lean back. Make sure you're staying tall as if there was a board running all the way down your back. We're challenging our core by reclining. There's your rest. Okay, so try not to sit rounded this way. Okay, we want to stay tall. All right, we're on our backs to begin with that chest press fly plus that bridge. So I'm not getting up yet. All right, you guys. Make your choice. You have 10 seconds. All right, so make sure you have your weights. We're on our back. Knees bent. Three, two, one. Lift. There you go. Press. Fly. The full 30 seconds you're going to get today and this one. The only round where you get the full 30. Take advantage. Make it pretty. Make it fun. Booby. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze tight. Forearm, dolphin, pike, plus new teeth. The two knee taps. That was a hard one. Three, two, and one. Go. All right. Flip over. Here we go. Pike up. Drop flat. Two knee taps. All right. Remember, you can come from here. Lift one leg. Lift the other leg. Push back. Drop in. Lift. Lift. Push. All right. Find the one that works best for you. We have two, the deadlift row fly. Up next. Ready, set, go. Up you come. Here we go. Deadlift, row, fly. Drive to the top. Hinge. Good. Posture. We are working the entire back of the body here from your shoulder blades to your knees all right eight seconds we have our two jacks two knees coming up three two one drop those legs two jacks two knees high knees two jacks. two high knees good let's get our heart rates back up right here feeling a little bit out of breath by the end of this 30 seconds, 10 left. V6 
Be sit, curl press, five seconds. Ready, set, go. Here we go. Nice and tall. Sit, press, down, curl, press. Remember, this can be done without weights. If you have a shoulder issue, you can just do the bicep curls here. All right. You know your body. You know how to make those adjustments. Five seconds. Three. Three seconds. Two. And one. All right. 30 seconds to breathe. Catch your breath. All right. We are starting with our forearm dolphin play. I'm going to scratch these off of my board so I don't mess up. I'm also going to get a drink of water while I'm up. 10 seconds. We're on our forearms. Ooh, this is the last one of these, you guys. Three, two, one, and go. Full 30 seconds you get. Again, one, two, pike. One, two. You are so strong. You are so capable. Your workout, your body, you do what's best for you. Here we go, five seconds left. Up for that deadlift. Row fly. Three, two, one, go. Up we come. I know, a lot of transition, but that's important. All right, to be able to get up and down off the ground. Good, if anything, it's an opportunity to practice that, right? Good, back side of the body, focus. Two jacks, two high knees, up next. Three, two, one, and go. Two jacks, two high knees, you know it. This is your opportunity again. Spike the heart rate just a little bit. Get breathing harder just a little bit. Remember, we want to be uncomfortable just slightly, okay? You got to push yourself. All right, to that little bit of uncomfortable place. Five seconds on the ground. Three, two, one. Here we go. Be sit, recline, curl press, curl press, down. So here's your opportunity right now to catch your breath. Good. Curl. Press. Remember, you're tall. No rounded backs here. If you have to come in a little bit to keep that straight back, do that. All right? Rather than rounding, stay tall. There's your rest. Okay. We are coming up to begin this round. Deadlift. Row. Fly. Okay, when you're ready, come on up. You've got 15 seconds left of rest, and you should be able to see it. Now have my sweat belt, all right? I'm getting there. I already have a sweat headband on. You just can't see it, because it's just, it's just dripping. Four seconds, deadlift, row, fly. Ready, and go. Hinge, row, fly, drive up. Whoo, good. Posture. Back of the body. So I want you to think about pushing the heels into the ground as you come to stand, squeezing your booty. 10 seconds. Booty right there. Five seconds. Two jacks, two high knees. Three, two, one. Here we go. Two jacks, two high knees. Good. 20 seconds. Halfway, uncomfortable, come on, join me. Five seconds, be sit, curl, press, buckle, next. Here we go, three, two, one. Sit on down, lean back, core engaged, curl, press, down, and out. Good, you guys. 15 seconds, you're halfway. We've got our 30 second rest. Coming up next, we have two rounds. 
to go. That's it. So fast. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Leave those weights close to that mat because we're going to be up for our two jacks, two high knees, and then we're on the ground for that last basic curl press, and we're done. Okay. You guys, you are doing so great. Thursday morning, you're going to check that workout off your list. Five seconds left of rest. Uncomfortable. All right, figure it out. Three, two, one, two jacks, two high knees, two jacks, four high knees, one, two, three, four. Make them quick. As quick as you can go. Good. See that little push right there? You know it's your last round. You can always go a little harder, right? 10 seconds. Five seconds. On the ground, be fit. Curl press. Ready? Go. Oh. Woo, see? I knew you could do it. I knew you could. I knew you had it in you. Lean back. Press. Curl. You've got this. Nice and strong. Focus on your breathing. Focus on your core. Curl press, bicep, shoulders. Three, two, one, rest. All right, stay here. We have one round left. Just this one right here. Then we get to stretch, cool down. You've earned it. You've earned that today. 15 seconds left of rest. It always seems long when you get back down to where you're at, like one or two exercises. That rest seems very long. All right, grab your weights. Get ready. You only have 30 seconds. This is the only way to get all of it. Ready? Go. Curl. Press. Down. Curl. Press. Stay tall. Ears, shoulders, rib cage, hips, all in a line. The back is long. The spine is long. Challenging that core even more by moving our arms with that bicep curl and overhead press. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Good job, you guys. Press those weights out of the way. You got 30 seconds, and then we're going to go into our stretch. So grab a drink of water if you would like. All right. I'm going to stay on the ground, but go ahead and grab that drink. We are going to actually start in that side. This little hip rock here, all right? So hand and knees. When you get up, push the hips back behind you. Sit towards the heel. Drive, push into the hip. Sit towards the heel. Drive into the hip. So you should feel a little stretch through that inner thigh. And we're trying to open up the front of that hip. Just slightly, a little mobility to the front of that hip. Yeah, 10 seconds. Good. Good, three, two, one. Step here and take that arm. Go under that straight arm towards that straight leg and then up and away. So you're not going to have a huge range of motion here, but opening up. Reach and open. Good. Reach and open. Good job. Taking your time through all of this. We've got five seconds. Two, and one, and down. Push that other leg out to the side and let's start that hip rock. Down, press out. Push the hips back, rock forward. Drive into that hip. And your rock, your mobility is going to be different from mine. All right, so you walk forward and back as much as is comfortable for you. All right, here we go. We've got about five seconds left. The hand of the bent knee. It's going to reach under and open. Here we go. Set those hands back straight. Reach under towards that straight leg. Up and away. Reach under and up. Take your time. Breathing into this. Good. Open. 
You have five seconds left. We are going to flip over onto our backs for our little two spine rotation. So go ahead and lay on your back. Knees bent, feet on the ground or off the ground. Drop the knees to one side, drop them to the other side. So just rock those knees back and forth. So feeling the mobility through your low back. All right, feeling that little stretch there should feel pretty good. We've got five seconds left. Three, two, go ahead and use those knees to come all the way up straight. Get those legs out in front, cross one ankle over the other, nice and tall, and hinge out towards those toes. Try and keep the back straight for now. Once you've kind of gotten there and held that for a few seconds, then feel free to roll down into that stretch. All right. You can be at your knees, your shins, your toes, wherever is comfortable for you. Come on up. Let's take the other foot out. Cross it over. Again, nice and tall on top of those sits bones. Inhale, exhale, reach out, straight back to begin. Hold there for a few seconds. Then when you're ready, round that chest towards your knees. So round on over. Again, feeling that stretch there. Good. Nice job. Good. Let's come on up. You're gonna come into your little butterfly stretch here, nice and tall, same thing. All right, inhale, exhale, straight back. And then as you're ready, then you may go ahead and round out into that stretch there. Hopefully that feels good. Feeling a little inner thigh stretch. You can always push those knees down just slightly with those elbows if you need a little assistance. All right, come on up. Let's go ahead and sit back and cross one ankle over a knee. All right, we're gonna do that figure four stretch. So as you cross that ankle over knee, walk the foot in towards your tushy there and push the other knee out and away. You can always flex your foot if you feel a little tightness in the knee. All right, think about feeling that stretch into that, that glute, that uh, piriformis there. Especially if you've done the sciatica, you sit a lot. This one might feel very good. Good. Let's go ahead and release and cross over to the other side. Ankle over knee. Walk that foot in. Press that knee out and away. We need a lot of stretches. I need a lot of squats and jacks. We use those glutes today. So they deserve a little bit of extra love right now. Good. The closer you walk that other foot into your to your your glute there, a the bit of a stretch, pressing any out the way. Let's go ahead and release that. Sit however you'd like. Let's do two good deep breaths, and then we'll be done. So one big deep breath up to those lungs. Exhale down. Let's go one more up. And exhale, bring those hands to the chest. I hope you guys had a really great workout this morning. Thank you so much for joining me in this pyramid class. I appreciate each of you, and I hope that you guys all have a really, really great day. I'm going to try to unmute you. I don't really, it's this new thing. Let's see. I have to ask to unmute you. So then I think you may unmute yourself at this point, but um, I hope you guys all have a great day. See you guys Thank next you. Thursday. Thank you very much. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, you guys, for always being here on Thursday. I appreciate it. It's so great to see you both. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, you guys.